In this video, we're going to have a look at a card pewter project I've been working on. So I've got a few modules from M5 Stack. I've got the RFID2, their IR remote, and their GPS module. Um, if you want to connect that these to the card pewter, usually you just have to connect it through the port um, and use the just the cable they've got. Um, the issue is if you do that, then you have to always switch the cable with between each module. So you can only connect one module at a time. Um, and then you've also got to try to mount it to the card computer. Um, so you can mount it using the, the little Lego connectors and just have it all the way at the back if you wanted. So I've just tried to make mine um, a bit more simplified and a little bit more compact. So what I've done is I've taken out all the modules from the cases and I've put it into a little 3D printed case I've made here. Zoom in a bit. So on this side here, we've got the RFID2, we've got the IR remote, and then the GPS module. And I've got three switches here. Um, so each module will get um, a, a positive and a ground, so they're always on. Um, you can add another switch if you want to have a, a power switch. And the way that I've wired it up is I've essentially used the, you need to switch between uh, the G1 and the G2. So this switch, when it's turned on, it will turn on the G1 and the G2 for that module. So for this one is for the RFID2 and the same thing for all these, uh, these other two switches. So when the switch is on, both the G1 and G2 is connected. Uh, when the switch is off, they're both disconnected. Um, and that's the way I've got it to work. So if you connect it, um, all the modules together and you try to use like a power to use as a switch, it won't work. So the modules will be a bit iffy. Um, and this is the way I've worked out that, you know, it works. Just zoom out. So I'll just put it together. So yeah, I've got some magnets in there as well. So it's held by these screws, but they're, these screws are actually multi-purpose, um, as you'll see. So it holds the case together, but they're also, it uses it to help with the mounting to the back of the car computer. So because it's um, held by magnets, um, these will help hold, hold it to the car computer so it doesn't slide up and down. So this is what the back looks like. So this is what goes on the back of the computer. And this is the front. So I've got the three switches here. One, two, three. And when it's on the top, they're off. And these are the IR LEDs. So you got the receiver and you got the transmitter. So I'll just zoom out. Let's just do a little demo. So I'll turn on the GPS and we're going to War Driver. So you can see it's working. Um, it just takes a while to actually um, up, update, so I'll turn it off now. Yeah, if I go back into it, it should be off. And yeah, it won't, the module won't be there. Restart. Yeah, 
and we'll do the Ionix. Let's go IR, turn on the IR module, and then so you can read IR signals. So I'll send a signal from this computer. read the the code for it as you can see there and the last one is just the RFID go to RFID and it's turned on go read tag and I've got a chameleon ultra here it's on. It's there you go. And then, yeah, you can see it's read the signal. Um, it's read the tag. So yeah, that's just a quick little project that I've been working on. Um, so the way it mounts is, it's because it's got the magnets. It just goes pulls it in and as I was saying before the screws um, help it so it doesn't you know move from up and down and it's quite quite um quite solid and then you can push the excess oh, it's not working at the moment but, but yeah you can push the wire in through the hole as well but yeah it's quite neat so it's a nice little backpack with um, those three modules inbuilt. So yeah, definitely recommend if you you want to get some modules, you can get it from M5 Stack, um, and they're compatible with the computer. Um, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.